pagsikat ng araw Kagandahan ay matatanaw Sa biyayang umaapaw, kultura'y nangingibabaw Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, pasasalamat ang sigaw Garden events venue. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the coronation night of Bini Bini Santolan 2022. Celebration of the 27th Bacalog Festival, a project of Barangay San Tomon Council, headed by Barangay Captain Echi Ramos and directed by Queen MC, together with San Tomon's very own Katamu Dancers. Let's welcome our 19 lovely candidates in their Bacalog Festival costume. Juan de la Cruz, 19, 
Omar Selena Street, Trisha Luis Bautista, 23 Q Maya, Mage Janela Lombo, 21 D Santiago Street, Stephanie Vettelmundo, 21 E Concepcion. Hello, Santa Lenders. I am Chiquina Rica Jacinto, 19. Sakana! Yes, Rasha Naya Mancilia, 22, Marisol Subdivision. Heather Sinor, 19, Conception Street. Andrea Reyes, 20, Marcelo de Animales. Jermaine Caiga de Roma, 19, Reyes Compound. Francisco, 21, Evangelista! Viva Mahalog, my boy, Santo Daniels! I am Chelsea Lozano, 19, and the Leone West. Welcome your hosts, an experienced and well-rounded professional host across different media platforms, radio DJ, TV, and events host, Sean Kyle Ortega. Together with Sean is a news anchor for Mata ng Agala and TV host at Kara Umaga Morning Show at Net25. She is also a true beauty queen, a title holder for numerous prestigious pageants. She was Mutianam Pilipinas 2012 first runner-up. Miss World Philippines 2015 Fourth Princess, Bini Bini Pilipinas Intercontinental 2019, and Miss Intercontinental 2019 Top 20 Finalist. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Emma Diglao. Good evening, Santolan. Grave, what a beautiful sight this is, everybody. Two years, two years in the making, and here we are. It feels like a dream. To actually be here on stage tonight para tayo nasa panaginip with all the fog that's surrounding us tonight but I want to hear if you guys are happy with the fact that we are finally here face to face pangin naman ang palakpakan dyan mga kaibigan grabe Sean it feels like we're watching a national pageant absolutely absolutely right. grabe ang tagal ng preparation na ito like I said the pandemic held us from doing things like these and we are finally here kaya talagang pasabog Grabe. Even their national costumes, iba talaga. The pagkabog costume. I agree. Even my co-host, sobrang ganda. Pagin naman ang palakpakan once again, Miss Emma Tiglao, everybody. Beautiful, beautiful. Grabe. All right. So with this said, as you guys know, we are here to celebrate not only the fact that we have beautiful women behind us, but syempre, Binibining Santolan 2022. Poise, confidence, beauty, and brain are the key things that will bring our candidates closer to that crown. Indeed, Sean, join me in welcoming everyone as we go along in showcasing the Santolenia beauty. Palapakan naman natin, di ba? Ayun, kaya mulit-muli po mga kaibigan. Ako po si Sean Kyle Ortega. And I am Emma Tiklao and this is Binibining, Binibining Santolan 2022 Coronation Night. Ayan na. So, kakasimula pa lang natin, Emma. We are already out to give our first set of awards. And the first award, or the first special award is Best in Pakalog Costume. Kakasimula pa lang. Meron na agad award. That's right. Okay. For the national costume, this will be awarded by Leo Almodal. The national costume winner will receive a sash, a 5,000 pesos cash, and a gift pack from Silka. And our winner... Here we go. The winner for Best in Pakalog Costume.
Guapo. Big round of applause for Leo Almodal, everybody. So we are waiting for the results of our best in Pakalo costume, Emma. If we look at our candidates, parang lahat naman talaga sila deserving at to win first, that title. You're right. And at first, I was I was intrigued. What is this Pakalog? Yes. Yo, so this is a kind of fish pala here in Pasig. Yo, that's right. Yes. So it's so, been going on for 27 na, years. Tanungin naman natin, sino ba ang sa tingin nila na national costume winner? Sino? I, I can see number six right there, number 18. Grabe! Halos wala na tayong makita sa dami ng fog, but I am seeing a lot of numbers. Ang dami humihiyaw. Sino sa tingin nyo karapat dapat manalo ng best in Pakalog costume? All right, we have in our hands the results of Best in Pakalo Costume. Congratulations, Bini Bini number. Bini Bini number 16. Jermaine, Jermaine Iroma. All right, Shevrik, congrats, congrats to our first awardee, ladies and gentlemen, best in Pakalo costume, Bini Bini number 16, Jermaine Iroma. There you have it, our national costume winner, candidate number 16. Congratulations oh, yeah. and thank you. Leo Almodal. Thank you very much, Leo. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Now, we have a full night ahead of us, Emma. Ang dami pa nating makikita awards na ibibigay natin sa mga kandidata. And we are also gonna be seeing so much more of what they have to offer. Simula pa lang yan, Correct. pero grabe ang crowd. Very I absolutely wild. agree. Ang sarap pakinggan yung, conf yung, ano, yung uh, energy na binibigay nila sa ating mga kandidata. Imagine na, uh, for two years, napakatahimik from online, ngayon face-to-face -face na nakakamiss talaga yung ganitong event. That's right. And ngayon pa lang, I would like to congratulate the organizers and the head of this mini-beaning Santola 2022. That's right. So, like we said, yung mga palakpakan, yung mga hiyawan na yan, keep that coming because yan yung talagang magbo-boost so confident sa ating mga kandidata. Now, with this said, we are going to get the ball rolling. I believe right now we have very, very special people we would like to call on stage yes. to help us welcome everybody to this beautiful event. And to grace this event with a warm, welcoming words, let's give a big round of applause to Kagawad Zandro Cruz. Hello. Magandang gabi po, Barangay Santolan. See who's your bet for our 19 Bini Binis. Number one. Number 19. Number 18. Number five. Okay. At this point in time, we would like to welcome each and every one of you for gracing tonight's event. So this event could be made possible through the help of our sponsors. Maraming maraming salamat po. And through the initiative of our very own and dynamic barangay captain, palakpakan po natin, Kapitan Echi Ramos. And of course, the whole members of the Barangay Council. So after you witness the talent competition and also the pre-pageant night, so this is the last stage for the journey of our 19 Binibinis. So, hindi po biro yung pinagdaanan ng 19 Binibinis. For almost two months na nakasama po natin yung 19 na candidates, all of them had a vision to be the next Binibining Santolan 2022. Kaya nga sabi nga po namin, the decision of the Board of the Judges Siyempre po, is final and irrevocable. And also, we hope that you will choose the best among the 19 Binibinis. So to all the parents and to all the supporters,
to all the sponsors, to all the people behind to make this event possible and successful. Maraming maraming salamat po from Barangay Council and the whole Santo Leños. So this is part of the 27th year celebration of our Pakalog Festival. So have a good night, chill, relax, and enjoy. Welcome to the Coronation Night of Binibining Santolan 2022. Mabuhay, Santo Leño! All right, marami, marami salamat ka Gawad Sandro Cruz. Beautiful words there. Ang ating kagawad, kagawad Sandro Cruz. Ayon. Now, at this point, we would like to thank and acknowledge everybody who has made this event possible, from the production staff all the way to the officials. Then, and dito ngayon, marami, marami salamat. Of course, headed by our barangay captain. Barangay captain. Ramos. Magandang gabi po, Barangay Captain. Magandang gabi po, Captain. Palakpakan naman, mga kaibigan. Palakpakan naman natin si Barangay Captain. And, and Shana, we have 19 lovely candidates and later, we will trim them down to 10. Yo. From 19 to 10. And last December 22, they had their pre-pageant activity and they were scored based on the following criteria. They have the Pakalog costume, which consists of 30%, swimwear 25%, Q&A 20%, and gown 25% with a total of 100%. 100%. And as you guys know, we held pre-pageants like what Emma said. These scores are very important. They are vital because, listen up, it gives off 40% of the criteria and identifying the top five. Now, para ma-identify natin ang ating top five, the criteria will be, get this, pre-pageant score of 40%, swimwear of 20%, question and answer of 20%, and gown of another 20%. And to identify our winners, they will be judged according to the following. The beauty, 70%, and intelligence, 30%, with a total of 100%. That's right. Now, ladies, I hope you guys are ready. Ang ating mga kandidata sana ready, ready na humarap sa ating entablado. However, right now, we're going to be introducing the people, the men and women na may pinakamahirap na trabaho tonight. These are, ladies and gentlemen, our esteemed panel of judges. judges. Napakahirap ng kanilang trabaho for tonight. Totoo yan. Pero talaga namang uh, sila yung pinili natin dahil alam natin kayang-kaya nilang gampanan Tama. yung trabaho na ito. So with this, our first judge, ladies and gentlemen, for Binibining Santolan 2022 is Santa Lucia Vice President for Mall Operations. Big round of applause for Mr. Zaldi Santos. Thank you, Sir Zaldi. Next, we have the Senior Brand Manager of Silka, the brand that makes the number one beauty bar soap in the Philippines. Ms. Apple de Belen. Beautiful Alagang Silka Apple de Belen. Alagang Silka. All right, our next judge is the CEO and founder of Pegado Clothing, Provincial Director of Misters of Filipinas, Surigao del Sur, and Mister International Philippines, Surigao del Sur, a swimwear designer of different prestigious pageants such as Binibini Pilipinas, Mutiana Pilipinas, and Australia 2018, Man of the World India, Mister Guam, and many, many more. He is also the official swimwear provider of Miss Universe 2013 in the Philippines, headed by MJ Lastimosa, the official swimsuit designer of Miss Universe Cambodia for 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Mr. Julius Pegado. So much, Sir Julius. Next, we have Binibini Filipinas Globe 2019, Miss Globe 2019, second runner up and number one counselor in the municipality of Los Banos, Laguna, Honorable Laren May Bautista. What a lovely. Beautiful, beautiful. Next up, we have an international Filipino actor, a businessman, celebrity influencer, and one of Bench's ambassadors. 
Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for TJ Marquez. Next, we have an actor and model, Mr. Universal Ambassador 2018, George DeLumen. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, we have judge number eight. He is an international fashion designer, world renowned. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Leo Almudal. Mr. International 2014, and known as Mama Police, Mr. Neil Perez. All right, ayan ngayon nakilala na natin ang mga hurado na responsible for judging our candidates tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I believe talaga namang enough na yan to call our ladies back on stage. All the candidates right now are preparing for the next set of competition that we are yes. going to be witnessing right here at the Glass House. Very I just, beautiful venue. I just venue. want to say, Shauna, this set of judges, can I say na all-star cast? All-star powerhouse cast. Powerhouse. Talaga. We have ha? businessmen. We have uh, talagang esteemed designers. We have world-renowned um, international celebrities. Meron pa tayong konsehalang napakaganda. Grabe naman talaga. So, so this, now, with the judges, we also have our sponsor. So, guys, ladies and gentlemen, please watch this.
sa balat, pwedeng irritation yan. Try Silka Green Papaya. Dahil ang tunay na sign ng pagpapaputi, kita in as early as seven days. Good role model ka. Sign na yan. Silka Green Papaya. Pagmahapdi sa... simple home and with no fancy places to go to. Yet, I loved it! Surrounded by its natural beauty, preparing for the Miss Grand International 2020, it was my inspiration. I believe to be truly beautiful is to be truly natural. My face, my body, all healthy, soft, and smooth. Thanks to my healthy skin soap, Mestiza, made with fruits and vegetable extracts plus virgin coconut oil, makes me a natural winner. If I can, you can too, with Mestiza. Together with Gotta Move Dancers, let's call back on stage our 19 glamorous candidates for their production number.
Beautiful, beautiful performance there from our candidates. Grabe, also the support, you guys, is amazing. There you have it. Si Emma. You know, isn't it nice to finally see these performances live on stage, face to face? It's a beautiful thing. You see their confidence, you see the ladies. Talagang deserve na deserve na nandito sila ngayon. Deserve. Parang lahat sila panalo na agad eh, di ba? Lahat sila pwede talagang maging binibining Pilipinas candidate o kaya naman soon, they can represent the Philippines internationally. No, oh, coming from Miss Emma Tiglao, narinig nyo yun. Talagang deserve na rin daw mag-represent ng country someday. However, we're talking about winners, we're talking about um, uh, graces. Right now, we are gonna be calling on another set of special awards. Beginning, of course, with Miss Lice Guy Pizza. I'm gonna just run down the prizes as well as the awards that we're gonna give out tonight. Miss Lice Guy Pizza will receive a sash as well as 5,000 pesos cash to be awarded by Mr. Jeffrey D. Quell. Miss Victoria Sopaset will receive one Cleopatra set to be awarded by Miss Angelique Banigo. And we also have Best in Talent. She will receive sash, cash, and silka products. We also have Best in Casual Wear. She will receive sash, cash, and silka products. What else? We have Face Bini Bini, or what we would like to call Miss Photogenic. She will receive a sash, cash, and silka products. We have Miss Social Media Award. Will also be receiving sash, cash, and silka products. Grabe awards na din, di ba? Ang dami! Ang dami! Ang dami awards! And this wouldn't be possible without our generous sponsors, di ba? That is right! Kaya naman? And I think we have our second set of special awards. Ayan na! So I believe it's time to call in our winners! Starting with our Miss Slice Guy Pizza! Like we said earlier, meron naman dito nag-concur ng likes of 2,000 400 likers within the day of posting their photo. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Slice Guy Pizza is congratulations, Bini Bini number 12, Jikina Hasito. Number 12, Miss Nice Guy Pizza will receive a sash, 5,000 pesos cash, and to be awarded by Mr. Jeffrey Tigil. All right, once again, congratulations to our Miss Slice Guy Pizza awardee, candidate number 12. Next, we have Miss Victoria Sofa. Miss Victoria Sofa will receive one Cleopatra set to be awarded by Miss Angelique Bonico. And our Miss Victoria Sofa is candidate number... Number 15, Andrea Reyes. All right, we've lined up a full list of awards that we are going to give out. And next up is our Best in Talent. Now, Best in Talent will be receiving a sash, cash, as well as Silka products. Now, you may or may not know this, Emma, pero nagkaroon nga ng pre-pageant before. Yeah. And this was where the talent competition was held. Imagine they're all beautiful, plus talented pa ang mga ladies Grabe. from Santolan. Totoo yan, talaga nga, a makings, the makings of a true beauty queen. Ladies and gentlemen, with this said, our best in talent is, congratulations, Bini Bini number 12, Jikina Hasinto. From Best in Talent, we move on to... Best in Casual Wear. Sino kaya sa tingin nyo ang Best in Casual Wear? Sino sa tingin nyo, anong candidate ang Best in Casual Wear? Yun, I can see, you can see the numbers right there, Sean. Finally, nakikita ko yung numbers! 
I'm seeing a lot of nines, 18s. Number six. I'm seeing number six. What else? We're seeing number 12 and 14. Right. Yung lead light na 14 ako. Yun talaga yung nagliliwanag eh. Right Palalo choice, yun. good choice. Totoo yan, totoo yan. <laughs> ang dami rin, ang dami rin nagpa-flash ng mga moving messages. Yes. We're waiting for the results of Best and Casual Wear. Ladies and gentlemen, from Best and Casual Wear, we will also be calling in our face beanie beanie or Miss Photogenic, which will come in a bit. And we also have a Miss Social Media Award. Alam mo yan yung nadagdag ngayon kasi most of the people use a social media talaga eh. That's right. And I hope this social media, they can use it in a uh, positive, positive way. Positive way, absolutely. To be the voice, di ba? With That's their right. advocacy. Kasi as a beauty queen and also as uh, a talent. As talent, right. Meron naman talaga tayong kanya-kanyang advocacy Totoo to yan. share. I think it's beautiful that we are utilizing social media not only to boost the awareness of the pageant, but like you said, we're also boosting the awareness of different advocacies. We're also boosting causes. It's, it's a beautiful thing. Um, technology definitely has evolved to a point where we can use not only the premise of being able to communicate, but actually to spread awareness to a general population. It, it's a really nice platform. Beat, a really nice platform. So we have the best in casual wear, face, bini bini, the, they call it face bini bini, the Miss Photogenic. Miss Photogenic, that's right. So here we go. We have finally the result for best in casual wear. Ladies and gentlemen, best in casual wear is Beanie Beanie number. Best in casual wear will receive a sash, a cash, as well as Silka products. Congratulations, Beanie Beanie number nine. Ayana, this next award is one of those awards that when you see who wins this, parang mapapaano ka, oo nga, no deserve. Kasi this next award is for Face Bini Bini, if I'm not mistaken. Face Bini Bini or Miss Photogenic. Miss Photogenic. Alam mo ba, Sean, ito talaga yung dream award ko eh, Miss Photogenic, kasi meron kang libring malaking frame ng photo, yeah. <laughs> di ba? That was, you know what they used to do back in the uh, old pageants was they would tear away Yung photo. Yeah. <laughs> Very ka classic pageant, ano yan, pageant style. Yung pupunitin yung papel. Doon nung mananalo. <laughs> Ngayon, dahil meron tayo Modern mga na LED, tayo. ang nangyayari, pina flash sa wall. Kusini so mananalo. I'm not sure if we're gonna do this tonight. However, we're waiting for the results and we'll find out together kung ganun yung nangyayari. I just wanna ask you, Emma, for you, what does it take to receive best in uh, or Miss Photogenic? Ano being makings of a Miss Photogenic in a pageant? I think Miss Photogenic, it represents the real you in a photo, eh. Diba? They can see the authentic you in Ayun. a photo. I like that. I love diba? that answer. Beautiful, beautiful. We are going to see the so authenticity. So I think we have the winner right now. That's right. The authenticity behind the face of our face, Bini Bini. And she is, congratulations, Bini Bini number 19. Chelsea Lozano. Beautiful. Gorgeous face. Deserve, deserve. Face, Bini Bini or Miss Photogenic will receive a sash, cash, and Silka products. Eto na. We were talking about how much of an impact this next award will make not only to the winner, but to whoever it reaches. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be calling on Miss Social Media Award. And the winner will receive a sash, a cash, as well as Silka products. And our Miss Social, we Social Media Award is candidate number... Number 12, Chikaina Lacinto. There they are, ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for our second set of special awardees. Congratulations, ladies. The night definitely is still young. Marami pa tayong pagdadaanan, Emma. We are going to be finding out more about who these ladies are, what makes a true Binibining Santolan, and kung sino talaga 
ang karapat dapat sa kanila na makakuha ng corona na yan yes. tonight. Yes, imagine ito pa lang yung second set of special awards. Marami pa tayong ibibigay na special awards. Congratulations, ladies. There, grabe. Ang dami natin pinapabigay Correct. tonight. So yun na nga, Emma, like we were talking about, from 19 ladies, of course, any competition, we are going to be moving further into the crown. So from 19, we will we're going to be trimmed that down to 10. Yes, and Ito as na. I mentioned earlier, there were scored based on the following criteria. Ulitin ko lang po ha. Pakalog costume, 30%. A swimwear, 25%. A Q&A, 20%. And gown, 25%. And that's a total of 100%. Ayan na. From 19, top 10 na mga kaibigan. Ang bilis. Ang bilis. All right, so I believe it's time to call in the list of who the ladies are who will make it to the next round of competition. Now, the first candidate in our top 10 is the People's Choice Awardee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is identified through the Pakalog raffle tickets. The candidate will receive 15,000 pesos cash as well as gift tax from Silka. Congratulations, you are part of the top 10, our People's Choice Awardee. Congratulations, Beanie Beanie number two, Trisha Mantal. On the second spot, we have Beanie Beanie number, number 12, Jekaina Hasinto. Third spot is yours. Congratulations, Beanie Beanie number eight, Juana de la Cruz. Next, we have Beanie Beanie number number 19, Chelsea Lozano. Halfway there. Take your spot. Congratulations, Beanie Beanie number 11, Yvette del Mundo. Next, we have Beanie Beanie number number one, Kyla Santos. Ito na! Palakpakan! Congratulations, Beanie Beanie number nine, Trisha Bautista! And next on the spot is Beanie Beanie number number 17, Angelica Picasso. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, we only have two names left on the top 10. The next name we're calling in is Vini Vini number four, Ira Melanio. Long. And our lucky girl in the 10th spot is Vini Vini number Number five, Kathleen Alcejo. There they are, ladies and gentlemen, your top 10 for Beanie Beanie Santolan 2022. To all of our other candidates, marami marami salamat. You guys are beautiful. Thank you very much, and you are all winners. Congratulations. Definitely. Thank you very much, ladies. Ulitin lang natin, our top 10 is Binibini number 2, Binibini number 12, Binibini number 8, Binibini number 19, Binibini number 11. And Binibini number 1, Binibini number 9, number 17, number 4, and Binibini number 5. Ayan na! Palapit na tayo ng palapit to the part of the competition where we find out who these ladies truly are. However, right now, papabalikin muna natin sila sa backstage para mag-prepare for their next round of competition. Dahil nako, Emma! Talagang laban na laban itong next part ng pageant natin tonight. Tama, kasi from 10, mamaya ititrim down naman natin to 5. No, oh, that's right. And they will be judged by the following criteria. The pre-pageant score, 40%. And we have swimwear, 20%. Q&A, 20%. And gown, 20% with a total of 100%. Alright, now with this mga kaibigan, we are going to be finding out who 
among our candidates will proceed on to that next round of competition after top 10. Alam natin na from top 10 magiging top 5 and then we will get to know kung sino talaga sila by the way that they speak to the audience members here. Now Emma, if you were if you were to say or point out kung ano yung pinakamahirap na parte sa isang competition, what would you say it is? Yung pinakamahirap, yung pinakanakakaba, what make part would it be? Make or break ba to? Yung pinaka make or break. Make or break segment, it's the Q&A. Q but before the Q&A, syempre titignan muna natin ang ating mga kandidata sa kanilang swim way. Yan! Diba? Ako ha, if you would ask me if ano ang favorite segment ko sa pageant competition, it's the swimwear competition because in a swimwear competition, you can just be bubbly, Yon. you can just be happy, and just That's right. enjoy. And you know what? You can see their confidence talagang beaming. They radiate full confidence, they radiate the way that they glow towards the stage and through the audience members. Makikita mo kung sino yung talagang hindi kinakabahan, ramdam mo talaga kung sino yung akin tong koro lang to tonight. Yes, and makikita mo talaga yung discipline ng mga kaderets, Absolutely. diba? Absolutely. Yung healthy, kung healthy ba talaga sila. Right. Kasi napakahirap talaga niyan. That's true, that's true. And you know what? This competition took a long, long time to finally be in this part. Kung, uh, kung nasaan tayo ngayon, mahaba-habang proseso ito. So with this, ladies and gentlemen, we are finally introducing the next part of the competition together with the Got To Move Dancers. Let's welcome back on stage the top 10 lovely Beanie Beanies in the swimwear competition. Together with our Got To Move dancers are our top 10 Beanie Beanies in the swimwear competition.
Bambini, number two, Krusha Mandan.
All right, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, our beautiful candidates in their swimwear, of course, by none other than Julius Pegado of Pegado Swim. What a lovely ladies. Excuse me, beautiful ladies. Gaganda, grabe. Ayan na, so mga kaibigan, take a good look at all of our candidates right about now. As you know, nasa top 10 na tayo, but later on, we're going to be trimming that number down to half of that number. But right now, I think we're ready to give out another special set of awards. Ayon, at syempre, with special awards, may kasamang mga cash prizes, bragging rights, as well as yung sash and gift back. So with this, let's start by calling in the first set of special awards. We have a Miss Silka. Sino kaya ang tatanghaling alagang Silka? Ito na. Ang ating Miss Silka. Nako. Napakaganda pati nung magpe-present ng award na to. Ladies and gentlemen, Tama, we have... Si Miss Apple de Belen. And our Miss Silka is none other than candidate number... Number 12 is Rekaina Jacinto. Miss Silka will be awarded by Senior Brand Manager of Silka, Miss Apple de Belen, and the winning candidate will receive sash and one year product supply. Ayon, congratulations to our Miss Silka. Bini Bini number 12. Now we move on to another special award. This time, we're going to be finding out who will bag Miss Social Media. I want to know what the makings are of this award. Siguro mamaya malalaman natin what it is. I think it has a lot to do with social media. So for sure, sharing on other platforms could be Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and so much more. So we're going to find out who that lady is Yes, in and a we bit. still have another award like the Miss Kickstart Fitness Center. We have the Miss Forever Beauty Skin Essential. What else do we Meron have? We have Miss Mestiza. And ako, ito na. Malalaman natin kung sino sa ating kandidata ang uh, mag-uuwi ng Best in Swimmer. Another crucial award that we're going to give mm -hmm. to one of our ladies tonight. And I want to ask you, kung ako naman tinanong mo kanina, syempre hindi ako papatalo. Tatanungin din kita, Sean. Ano yun? Ikaw, as an audience, as a beauty pageant, Ano pa talaga yung pinaka-aabangan mo na segment? I mean, for me, in any pageant, I really want to know in depth who these ladies are. So for me, I would say it would be the question and answer portion. Kasi mas makikilala natin kung sino yung mga kandidata despite the fact that we already know they are beautiful, they're sexy, they're glamorous. I want to know who they really are inside or behind the, the facade of beauty and glam. Yes, their opinions, their beliefs, correct, correct, correct. right? At saka nakaka-excite din malaman kung ano yung mga itatanong sa kandidata. Right, ako din. Kasi ang dami nang nangyayari all over the world. But right now, I think we're ready to give out our next special award. All and right. our next special award is Miss Kickstart Fitness Center. Miss Kickstart Fitness Center is none other than candidate number... Congratulations, Bini Bini number 16, Jermaine Iroma. Miss Kickstart Fitness Center will be awarded by Andrea Francesca and will receive a one year gym membership at Kickstart Fitness Center. All right, so Anton, from Miss Kickstart Fitness Center, we're going to find out who Miss Social Media is. So we move on to Miss Forever Beauty Skin Essential to be awarded this time by Queen MC. The winner will receive a sash, cash prize, as well as beauty products. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Forever Beauty Skin Essential. Is candidate number... Congratulations, Beauty Beauty number seven, Alia Luarca. Miss Forever Beauty Skin Essential will receive sash, cash price, and beauty products. Lako, ang dami naman natin sponsors. Ang dami rin talaga nagbibigay ng awards. I think this uh, shows just how prestigious this pageant really is. Next up, we're going to be calling on Miss Mestiza. The winner will receive 10,000 pesos cash, a sash, as well as products. And for our Miss Mestiza, sino kaya ang Miss Mestiza dito sa ating lovely no? candidates? 
palaban pati yung mga sumusuport ang mga sponsors and the brands that are bagging Binibini Santolan talagang uh, pasabog very right. very luxurious brands Saka very generous very generous indeed very generous. may cash prize ka na may pa gift pack pa meron ka pang one year supply Correct. of their product Parang in, in, a, in a way, inaalagaan. Inaalagaan ka na rin ng mga sponsors na ito Alam with these awards. Alam mo ba, Sean, close na ako sa mga candidates, mama. La, <laughs> totropahin talaga natin yung mga kandidata para alam natin kung saan lalapit para makikaklose din natin yung mga sponsors. <laughs> And our Miss Mestiza is none other than candidate number... Number nine! Trisha Bautista! All right, there she is. Candidate number nine is our Miss Mestiza. Moving on out. This time, malalaman na natin mga kaibigan kung sino ang mag-uwi ng Best in Swimwear. Ang daming fans ni candidate number nine. Congratulations once again to candidate number nine, our Miss Mestiza. Together with 10,000 pesos, she will receive beauty products and a sash. Ito na ang ating best in swimwear. Take a good look at all of our candidates. Ladies and gentlemen, one of them will be named best in swimwear for Bini Bini Santolan 2022. Our best in swimwear is none other than candidate number... Number five, Kathleen Osejo. Best in swimwear will be awarded by the designer himself, Julius Pegado. And once again, the winner will receive a sash, cash prize, and products from Silga. Thank you so much, Sir Julius. I love all the swimmer of the candidates. Ayan na nga. So mga kaibigan, nabigyan na natin ang uh, ating mga kandidata ng third set of special awards. At this point, syempre gusto namin pasalamatan ang mga sponsors na tumulong sa ating mabuo itong beautiful pageant na ito. As well as, we want to know the journey behind the Bini Bini's path towards Bini Bini Santola in 2022. So with this, we're going to take a short break and we would like you guys to focus your attention towards the screens and watch this.
sa balat? Pwedeng irritation yan. Try Silka Green Papaya. Dahil lang tunay na sign ng pagpapaputi, kita in as early as 7 days. Good role model ka. Sign na yan. Silka Green Papaya. Growing up in Palawan, we lived in a simple home and with no fancy places to go to. Yet, I loved it! Surrounded by its natural beauty, preparing for the Miss Grand International 2020, it was my inspiration. I believe to be truly beautiful is to be truly natural. My face, my body, all healthy, soft, and smooth. Thanks to my healthy skin soap, Mestiza, made with fruits and vegetable extracts plus virgin coconut oil, makes me a natural winner. If I can, you can too, with Mestiza.
we lived in a simple home and with no fancy places to go to. Yet, I loved it! Surrounded by its natural beauty, preparing for the Miss Grand International 2020, it was my inspiration. I believe to be truly beautiful is to be truly natural. My face, my body, all healthy, soft, and smooth. Thanks to my healthy skin soap, Miss Tiza, made with fruits and vegetable extracts plus virgin coconut oil, makes me a natural winner. If I can, you can too, with Miss Tiza. Ladies and gentlemen, back on stage are our candidates in their long gown.
gusto kita Hindi ko alam kung saan ko sisimulan Binibigyan ko lay ang larawan na para bang Ikaw ang nag-iisang bituin Nagsisilbing buwan na kapiling mo Lamang ang tanging magkakanaan Di mo sa paligid ng awit-awit May tutulala sa nakakaakit-akit mo Ang tinatangi Napapangiti mo ang aking puso Giliw, di mapigil ang bukso Ang damdamin ko Mukhang mapapaamin mo Amin mo Anong salamang kang meron ka Binabalot ka ng makita Anong salamang kang meron ka Ako'y nabihag mo na Sinasadya Pagkat hindi na kaya At tayo para sa isa At isa
19 beautiful candidates of Bini Bini Santolan 2022, ladies and gentlemen, in their beautiful long gowns. Big round of applause, please. Gaganda Very classy and elegant so candidates, bright. right? At parang you belong. Belong ka sa style ng ano nila, ng gown nila. I, I think hindi ako prepared for tonight. Parang hindi prepared, parang ano lang, maglalaba, ganyan. <laughs> Yun lang yung outfitan natin. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, with this said, we are going to be calling in, in a minute, who the judges think deserve the Best and Long Gown Award. However, we are first going to be clarifying a few awards that we will be giving to two candidates that we were supposed to give earlier. However, we finally have the results right here from our sponsors. So we would like to clarify that Miss Mestiza is Bini Bini number five. Congratulations, Miss Mestiza, Bini Bini five. And our Miss Mayumi is, congratulations, Bini Bini number nine. Congratulations to our Bini Bini number five and Bini Bini number nine, our Miss Miss Diza and Miss Miyumi. All right, so there they are. Thank you very much to our sponsors and thank you. Congratulations to the beautiful ladies who have received these awards. Now, after this, we will still be giving awards and we have Miss Congeniality, the friendly of them all. I and we know. also have the best in long gown. That's right. You know what's beautiful about Miss Congeniality is the fact, despite the fact that this is a competition among the girls, and we can see the camaraderie, the sisterhood, yung talagang alam nila na this is still a good experience. Kaya I'll make the most out of it. Kakaibiganin ko yung mga kandidata. You know what I love about pageants also? Nagbibuild ka ng family eh, di ba? Sisterhood. Meron ka ng sister from another barangay. Correct. <laughs> Ang nakakatuwa, meron pa dito, no, for Binibinis, I believe it's once a Binibini, always a Binibini. If you are a queen of any pageant, if you've joined a pageant, that experience is something that only your sisters within that pageant will understand. It is really life-changing experience, Sean. Ayan. Correct. So congratulations to our winners. We're just waiting for our presenters of the Miss, Miss Tiza and Miss Mayumi so that we can award the Miss Congeniality and Best in Long Gown. So, sino kaya ang friendliest of them Ayun. all, di ba? Malalaman natin yan in a minute. Nako mga kaibigan, 10 candidates have made it to the next round of competition. And at this point, I think you guys already know what's coming up after this uh, set of awards. Makikilala natin lalo ang ating mga kandidata. Makikilatis din natin. This is your favorite round. Ito na yun, ang paborito kong round. I'm super excited about what the questions are gonna be, how the format will be. And I'm sure everybody else is excited. So yung excitement na yan, mamaya, it, uh, you guys have to turn that into support. Gawin yung palakpakan yan for later when the candidates yes. are answered, or after the candidates answer. Just a quick um, uh, reminder. Once the candidates are answering their questions, we would greatly appreciate if you guys could give them the time to speak. Patapusin po muna natin sila bago po natin sila bigyan ng palakpakan. There you have it. Thank you so much, candidates. Now, I think we're ready for our Miss Congeniality. And our All best right. in long gone. All right, so before we proceed on to Best in Long Gown, I believe we have a full lineup of special awards that we can give out to our candidates prior to revealing the Best in Long Gown. Here we go, starting it off with Miss Maxella Pizza. Miss Maxella Pizza will be receiving cash, a bouquet together with a sash. Congratulations, Miss Maxella Pizza. Bini Bini number 17, Angelica Piscasso. We have a lot of special awards. Diyan mo talaga malalaman na ang daming brands na sumusuporta. Doon palang panalong panalo Correct. na yung mga candidates natin, di ba? Parang ang sarap pakinggan ng Miss Maxella Pizza, no? 
Saan kaya yung branch nung... Saan yung branch nung Miss Maxella? Hanapin ko nga yung Maxella Pizza. Baka naman meron tayong pa Maxella Pizza dyan later. <laughs> Outer At, sa backstage, no? Alamin natin sinong may-ari. Totropahin. Kakaibiganin na natin. Kakaibiganin yan. natin yung nanalo niyan. Okay, eto na. After Miss Maxella Pizza, we move on to People's Choice Award. Congratulations to... Kandret number... Number two, Trisha Matal. Congrats, congrats to our People's Choice Awardee. At maraming maraming salamat sa mga tumutulong sa atin mag-present ng awards na ito. Congratulations to all our candidates. All right, now as per our prod staff, our production staff, People's Choice Award is Bini Bini number... Bini Bini number 12. All right. Now for People's Choice Award, please head on towards the front. Congratulations once again, Bini Bini number 12. Live events, everybody. <laughs> Two years in the making. You know what? These things usually happen, and it's nothing. It's some things are just out of our control. We proceed on with calling yes. in the next set of awards. Hindi magiging masaya kung walang Correct. ganito. Next award, we have Miss Perfect Beauty and Beyond. Like I was saying, Emma, ang dami, ang dami sa mga suporta sa ating uh, mga kandidata. Kaya naman yung mga brands are outpouring with the gifts, the prizes, as well as the support that they have for the candidates who will be bringing home these prizes. Now, with this, we're going to be calling in another special award. At this point, we are calling in Miss Perfect Beauty and Beyond. Congratulations to Bini Bini number 15, Andrea Reyes. Congratulations to our candidate number 15. Sa sobrang dami po ng awards, medyo nahihirapan na yes. rin pumili ng mga kandidata. Naniniwala ako na yung mga sponsors, while or as the competition rolls on out, nakikita nila parang deserve nitong kandidatang ito. Yes. Ang, ang award natin. So I believe talagang uh, nagtatagisan ng ganda, nagtatagisan ng dating yung mga kandidata natin. And that's why it's making it harder to decide who will bag these awards. And we just want to say all the candidates are deserving po Absolutely. sa lahat ng awards. Kaya lang, meron lang talagang isa na natatangi na kailangan nating pili and for that specific award. Kaya maraming salamat po sa inyong patience for tonight. Correct. Ayun, at maraming salamat for coming out here tonight. This is a beautiful venue. We are witnessing something momentous in Santolan history. Now, with this, we were talking about the camaraderie of this next award, and it is for Miss Congeniality. Our Miss Congeniality is candidate number... Number 10, Baby Lombo. Congratulations, candidate or Binibini number 10, Maeve Lombo, our Miss Congeniality for Binibini Santolan 2022. So, candidate number 10 is the friendliest of them all. Wow. Alam mo, I'm sure everybody is in a sisterhood mindset within the Binibini Santolan candidates. Pero syempre, meron talagang isa, yung parang tropa ng lahat, at si Mavion. Now with this, we're gonna be calling in another 
big award in any pageant. It is the best in long gown award. One of the major awards One that we have for biggest. tonight. And it is to be awarded by Mr. Cedric Lee. Okay, our best in long gown is candidate number... Congratulations! Itaas nyo nga nang makita ko. Sabi kasi nila, the more na mas malakas daw yung sigaw ng kandidato yung number, yun yung mananalo. Correct! Kaya sino ang deserve ng best in long gown binibini number? Parang tama yung narinig ko. Congratulations, binibini number five, Kathleen Alcejo. Congratulations to our best in long gown and thank you very much to all of our presenters. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the competition gets tougher and tougher as we roll on out. At this point, like we were talking about, Ni Emma, this is our favorite part of the competition. The Q&A round. And we are asking our audience po, now while the candidate is answering, Please keep quiet lang po muna. Hayaan po natin yung candidate na sumagot para hindi po siya malito. Kasi sa totoo lang po, napakahirap po tumayo dito. Tapos Correct. express yung sarili namin. At kapag nakasagot na po, doon po tayo mag-cheer. Ayan, tama yan mga kaibigan. Again, please let our candidates finish with their answers first. We're gonna let you in on the mechanics of our Q&A round. Now ladies and gentlemen, the top 10 will be called one by one. They will be asked to pick a number, and each number represents a video question from distinguished personalities. Each candidate will be given one minute to answer or define the questions that our uh, personalities will be giving them. Now, kunin na natin ang ating uh, palayok na naglalaman ng numero na pipiliin ng ating mga kandidata. Samba galing yung palayok na yan, Sean. Parang galing pa to sa Christmas party kanina. <laughs> okay, let's start with... Bini Bini number two. Ayan, Bini Bini, Bini, Bini number, number two. two. Please take center stage. Cent center stage four. Oh, Bini Bini number one. Ay, number Ms. one. Miss Kyla Santos. Ayan. Miss Kyla, baka naman gusto mo mag-hello sa iyong mga supporters for tonight. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Hello po sa mga supporters ko, sa mama ko, sa mga kamag-anak ko. Hello po, Mar maraming salamat po. Alam mo, ang dami mong supporters. So with this, dapat talagang confident na confident ka. Congratulations for making it this far in the competition. Now, with this, please choose a number that will correspond with your video question. Good luck. Pinipiling mabuti. And, naku, lucky number. At nakuha niya rin, syempre, number one. Again, we're gonna be playing a video message or from different personalities. Your question is... Hi, it's Cindy Pinero, Miss Intercontinental 2021, and here is your question. Given the power and reach of social media, do you believe that genuine freedom of speech exists in the Philippines? Why or why not? Good evening po sa inyong lahat. Uh, naniniwala po ako na maimportante ang social media. At kung gagamitin po natin to ng maayos, wala pong mangyayaring kasamaan dahil ang social media ay makapangyarihan at dapat gamitin natin to ng maayos. Bilang isang binibini, ina inaanyayahan ko kayong lahat na gamitin ang inyong social media sa magandang paraan at magandang plataforma. At yun lamang po at maraming salamat. All right, thank you, thank, thank you very you so much. much. Moving on out to next, our next finalist. Maybe call on candidate number two. Ayun si candidate number two. Kanina, as you were walking, I saw full confidence in you. Kaya, with this, good luck. And please choose your number. Kayang kaya. Candidate number two chose number seven. Video message number seven. 
Hi, this is Tracy Maureen Perez, your Miss World Philippines 2021, and this is your question. Some people would say that becoming a beauty queen is a pursuit of fame. What are you willing to give up for fame? I am not gonna give up anything for fame because what I have is I am contented to it and everything that I own is Naniniwala po ako na ang kasikatan ay hindi mahalaga ang mahalaga lamang ay ang puso at kung paano tayo makakatulong sa iba. That would be all and I thank you. All right, thank you very much, Bini Bini number thank two. Thank you very much. Yun naman talaga, puso Correct. ang importante. Correct, it's diba? not about the fame. Ang sikat lilipas din yan eh. Totoo yan. Diba? Alam mo, kasikatan na niniwala ko, it is a bonus. If you love what you do and people feel that, genuine energy coming from you talaga, right. bonus lang yun. Okay, moving on to... Candidate number four. All right, here you go. Please choose a number. Good luck. You look stunning, by the way. Candidate number four has chosen video message number nine. Hello, this is Cassandra Colleen Bermeo Chan, your Miss Chinatown Philippines 2020 and Miss World Philippines Charity 2022. And this is your question. How do you distinguish a historian from a marites. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We can distinguish history from marites by having a media and information literacy. We all know that social media is prevalent nowadays as it really helps us to lessen the struggles in our communication. However, we should know our responsibility as a user and that is prevailing our media and information literacy wherein we should raise our self-knowing in order to identify the, the critical concerns of our reality and that includes the, the, our, the challenges. So our challenges behind fake news. So above all, we should prevail our knowledge in order to, to identify the information that contains integrity, credibility, and values. So thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, candidate number four. Bini Bini number four. The whole premise of making sure that any news or anything you read is absolutely legitimate should be taught to everybody. Yes. Now we have candidate number five. Candidate number five, pick your number. Number eight. Hi, this is Dindi Pajares, your Miss Supranational Philippines 2021. And this is my question. Supra means above and beyond. So tell me about a time you went above and beyond. Thank you. One time that I go above and beyond is with my journey here in Binibining, Santolan. When we visited the Cotolengo Filipino, it is a home for deprived and orphaned children. And it really opened my heart and mind. I was able to give a little of my blessings to them. I may not be the richest person out there, but I know how it feels huh, to have nothing. And also, even just a little, even though it's just a little gesture, it may not change the world significantly, but for a person who is in need, it can be supra, above and beyond. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank you, candidate number five. Ayan, ito naman. Let's hear it this time from Bini Bini number eight. Pick your number. Very bold look. I really uh, appreciate that look. I love Bini that Bini short Inko. hair. Kung very long courage to do that. 
Video message number three. three. Hi everyone, this is Emmanuel Vera, your Reina Hispanoamericana Filipinas 2021, and here is your question. Would you rather be a person who leads or a person who innovates? Can we repeat the video again? Hi Sorry. Everyone, this is Emmanuel Vera, your Reina Hispanoamericana Filipinas 2021, and here is your question. Would you rather be a person who leads or a person who innovates? A person who leads or a person who innovates? Ang tao bang nagli-lead o ang taong nagi-imbento? Being a leader o ikaw ba yung gusto mo magi-imbento ka ng isang bagay? Para sa akin, mas pipiliin kong maging leader kaysa mag-imbento ng isang bagay. Para sa akin, mas gugustuhin kong makatulong sa kababayan kong Santo Leño. Bilang isang leader, hindi lang ito basta mag-uutos ka. Kailangan tatanggapin mo lahat ng gawain, hindi lang basta ipapagawa mo sa mga tao, kundi dapat bilang isang leader, uh, gagawin mo ito nang sisimulan mo ang sarili mo bago mo simulan sa ibang tao. And I thank you. Thank right. you very much, candidate number eight. Dapat talaga ang leader marunong makinig. Totoo yan. Diba? Ang totoong leader, nagpapasa ng kaalaman Tama. sa kanyang mga tinuturuan. Moving on now to Bini Bini number, number nine. nine. Candidate number nine, pick your you number. Go. Good luck, good luck. Bini Bini number nine shows video message number ten. Hello everybody, this is Khaled Karen Davila. My question is, why is mental health as important as physical health? Can we repeat the video once again? Hello everybody, this is Khaled Karen Davila. My question is, why is mental health as important as physical health? Why is mental health as important as physical health? I think our well-being as humans require a healthy, being, being physically healthy, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. And that, I think, important, uh, I think mental health is important as it um, tackles a lot of things. And um, we have to be sensitive to other people who are experiencing mental health as this is a difficult situation for some. And I think... We have, I think we will be, we will have um, a place where we have, um, a place where we have, a, where we have a people who are um, very supportive to other people who are experiencing this. And I thank you. All right, thank you very much, Bini Bini number nine. You know what? Mental health awareness has to encompass a general. It's, it's all a about broad your spectrum. support system. It's a broad spectrum. It could come in all forms, shapes, and sizes. So it could be different for everybody. Moving on yes. to Bini Bini number 11. Candidate number 11, pick your number. All right, number 11 went with video message number two. My question is, what do you think is the biggest problem that young people are facing today? The biggest problem that the young people are facing today. I think today's youth are distracted in many ways. In, and worse, they lose focus on their education, which may lead to vices and causes them to lose their dreams and lives. And this is what I deem to be the greatest problem that young people are facing right now. And my greatest and my greatest aspiration is to reignite the fire among my fellow youth to value and give importance in your education. Um, and to our parents, please light the way of hope and continue being a strong supporting foundation to them and let's help them in believing again in the beauty of their dreams. Thank you. 
Thank you, candidate number 11. Thank you. Ayan, tatlo na lang. Ang finalists na sasagot ng katanungan nila. Candidate have, number 12. Bini -bini number 12. Nagpick na siya ng kanyang number. Right off the bat, we have question number 5. Hi, I'm Katriana Gray. Miss Universe is 2018, and this is my question. If a beauty queen has a purpose, what is a beauty queen without a purpose? Can we repeat the video once again? Hi, I'm Katriana Gray. Miss Universe is 2018, and this is my question. If a beauty queen has a purpose, what is a beauty queen without a purpose? Hi! I believe that a beauty queen has a purpose, can influence other people, be of positive effect to them, and I believe that someone who has no purpose, a beauty queen, is no beauty queen at all. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Bini Bini number 12. Thank you very much. Now we have candidate number 17. Here 17, pick your number. Question number four for Bini Bini number 17. This is Karen Gorman, your Binibini Filipinas Miss Intercontinental 2018. And my question for you is, do you think you are a good role model? Do you think you are a good role model? What a wonderful question. Good evening, everyone. Um, I think that I am a good role model because I came here without any prior knowledge, without any experience uh, about beauty pageants. I came here thinking I have the qualities, and here I am. I'm here in the top 10, and being a role model, it just shows that you have perseverance. And perseverance just shows how eager you want to win, how eager you want to learn, and how eager you want to grow. And I thank you. All thank right. you very much, candidate number 17. Wonderful answer there. And we have uh, the last candidate, candidate number 19. At pick number. Last number for Binibini number 19 is question number 6. Hi, this is Eva, your Binibini Filipinas Grand International 2018. Here's your question. Do you still believe in the saying, behind every man's success is a woman? Why? Can we repeat the video once again? Hi, this is Eva, your Bini Bini Filipinas Grand International 2018. Here's your question. Do you still believe in the saying, behind every man's success is a woman? Why? Behind every man's success is a woman. So behind na successful na lalaki eh, isang babae, naniniwala ka ba dun sa kasabihan na Sa likod ng isang successful na matagumpay na lalaki ay merong isang babaeng sumusuporta sa kanya. Um, sa lalaki na he is successful and that shows love. Ang pagmamahal ay nagpapakita ng pagsuporta. Alam naman natin na lahat ng babae na nagmamahal at also lalaki din na lahat tayo, binibigay natin lahat ng best natin para mahalin ng isang tao. Binibigay natin lahat para mapaik mapapak mapakita natin sa kanila na mahal natin sila. Kaya sa ako po na bilang babae na uh, uh, ako po na bilang babae na nagsasabi na bi binibigay natin ang pagsuporta mapalalaki man o babae. That's all. Thank you. All right. Now Thank we've heard very much. we've heard from all of our 10 finalists what they had to say about the questions that we provided. Grabeon, what a right. turn of events there. We had personalities, we had celebrities asking these questions for the candidates. I think that was also a treat for yes. the candidates. Na yung mga sikat. 
kilala sa industriya yung mga yes. nagtatanong the sa kanila. The beauty queens and I would like to commend the audience. Ha. Thank you very much for cooperating. Palakpakan naman natin ang ating mga sarili at ang ating top 10. Ooh, grabe yun! What a, uh, what a portion that was. Pat, pati ako kinabahan na. Actually, this, I'm, I'm still a little bit nerve-wracked with how they answer that. That was beautiful. It's smooth. Super. Grabe, ito it. talaga yung make or break. Eh. Talagang Totoo nakilala yan. natin yung ating mga kandidata. That's right. Now, with this, of course, syempre, as a special treat, not only to our beautiful candidates, but also to Santo Lenios. Mga kaibigan, ito na. A special treat coming your way. Yes, maraming maraming salamat. Siyempre, meron pa tayong bisita mamaya na papatikimin muna natin ang ating mga audience kung sino ba ang ating bisita. Dako, eto na. Kasi nakita ko nawala na siya dun sa ano eh. Sa kanyang, sa, sa kanyang upuan. So ready, ready na siyang magpasikat. Ready na rin siyang pakiligin ang ating mga kandidata as well as ang mga Santo Lenios na nandito ngayon sa Glass Garden. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe it is time to call in our very, very special guest performer to serenade our candidates. Put your hands together for international TV actor, Mr. TJ Marquez. Adik sa'yo Aawit sa akin Bilang sawa na sa'kin Mga kwento marato Tungkol sa'yo At sa ligaya Iyong hati Sa aking buhay Tuloy ang bida sa isipan ko ikaw Sa umaga sa kapisa Bawat minutong lumilipan Hinahanap-hanap kita Hinahanap-hanap kita Sa isip at panagin Ibawat pagpihit ng tadhana Hinahanap-hanap kita Sabik sa'yo Kahit maghapon Na tayo'y magkasama Parang telesine Ang ating ending Hatid sa bahay nyo Sabay goodnight Sabay my kiss Sabay bye bye Sa umaga sa gabi sa bawat minutong lumilipas Hinahanap-hanap kita Hinahanap-hanap kita Sa isip at panagin ay bawat pagpilit ng tadhana Hinahanap-hanap kita Ha-ha-ha Thank you so much, ladies. Good evening, everybody. My name again is TJ Marquez. Nag-enjoy po ba kayo ngayong gabi? Um, are you happy na nakapasok yung mga candidates nyo? Well, to all the ladies, you are all winners. And kung sino man ang mananalo po ngayon, congratulations. And meron pa po akong isang kanta para sa inyo. Sabayan nyo na lang po ako pag alam nyo yung kanta. Alam kong kabisado nyo to. So, para po sa inyo to. Music please. So lately, been wondering Who will be there to take my place When I'm gone, you need love To light those shadows on your face If a rain awaits your fall And fall upon us all And between the sand and stone 
could you make it on your own? If I could, then I would. I'll go wherever you will go. Way up high or down low. I'll go wherever you will. Maybe I'll find out a way to make it back someday. To watch you, to guide you. Through the darkness of your days If a great weight shall fall And it fall upon us so, all Well I hope there's someone now there Who can bring me back to you If I could, then I would I'll go wherever you will go Way up high or down low, I'll go wherever you will go. Run away with my heart, run away with my hope, run away with my love. Zero bang bang, masa mas, tadi pak. Zero bang, no now, tera. The life love might still go on In your heart, in your mind I stay with you for all those time If I could, then I would I'll go wherever you will go Way up high or down low I'll go wherever you will go If I could turn back time, I'll go wherever you will go. If I could make you mine, I'll go wherever you will go. I'll go wherever you will go. Thank you so much po sa inyong lahat. Thank you, what's your name? KZ po. KZ, sino sino sa Portland? Candidate number 12. Number 12. Well, good luck kay candidate number 12. Tara na. Thank you very much, guys. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, our top 10. Beautiful ladies, beautiful performance by Mr. TJ Marquez. Nako, idol ko to. Bata pa lang ako eh. Nakikita ko na yan sa TV. Bata pa lang ako. Idol namin yan. Bata ka pa lang. Oo naman. Diyos ko. Ako nga, ganito pa lang ako. Kaliit eh. Nakikita ko na talaga yan siya. Diba? Idol natin yan. TJ Marquez, everybody. A treat for all the Santolenos out here today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, this is still a competition. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be trimming the number down to our top five. So from top 10 down to top 5. Nako, ito na Emma. Malalaman na natin we are going to be one step closer towards the crown for Bini Bini Santolan 2022. Pwede ba naming marinig sino kaya sa tingin niyo ang pasok sa top 5? Para nang mga kaibigan, sino pasok sa I top 5? Number 9. 
I can see number eight. Naku, I can see a lot of numbers. Diba, may number two pa doon. Malay niyo, sigawan na yan. Makatulong sa performance ng ating kandidata. So keep those cheers coming. Ladies and gentlemen, we are waiting for the results of our top five at this very moment. What a beautiful night this turned out to be. Sean, after the announcement of top five, we will still have another round of Q&A. Is That's that right. right? That's right. So what's going to happen is we're going to be moving our girls onto a secluded area. Kasi one common question ang itatanong namin sa ating limang finalists who will vie for that top spot. Yes, at hawak ko na. Bilangin nga natin kung lima nga ba. There you have it. Our top five finalists. Handa na ba kayo? Here we go. Handa na ba kayo? Congratulations to our first finalist making it to the top five. Bini Bini number. Bini Bini number four, Ira Melanio. Next, we have Bini Bini number. Number 12, Jekaina Hacinto. Three spots left, everybody. The third spot goes to... Congratulations, Bini Bini, number 17, Angelica Sikasho. And on the fourth spot is candidate number... Number 11, Yvette Del Mundo. Ito na mga kaibigan, one final spot to move on to the next round of competition. Congratulations. Bini Bini number. Bini Bini number. Bini Bini number five, five. Kathleen Ausejo. Ayan nga mga kaibigan, here are your top five Bini Binis for Bini Bini Santola 2022. Moving on to the next round of competition. The Q&A round. And can you tell our audience kung paano ba majudjudge itong top five finalists na ito? Ayan, so ito na nga, from uh, this point on, we're going to be judging our candidates based on the following criteria. Listen very carefully, judges. Uh, audience members, 70% will go to beauty, whereas 30% will go to intelligence. So, dalawa lang yung babasehan natin dito. A total, again, of 100%. So, are you guys ready? Na ko, Ladies, eh, handa na ba kayo? Ladies, good luck! So, again, ang mangyayari po, ang dadali natin sila, Emma, sa secluded area of the venue para marinig na, hindi marinig ng ibang kandidata yung question na tinatanong na sa unang kandidata na natawa because we are gonna be having one common question for all five finalists so I think may we call on the other four candidates backstage okay so backstage po muna tayo our four candidates and may iwan si candidate number four Ayun, candidate number four Bini Bini number four, congratulations! One step closer to that crown. Ano yung pinaka nararamdaman mo right now? I feel so blessed, po, because this is my greatest dream, po, when I, since when I was in elementary. Ay, Merry Christmas! <laughs> All right, we're gonna be waiting for your one common question, and once we get a go signal from the production, na ready na talongin ang ating kandidata. We're going to be asking you your question. Yes. At habang naghihintay tayo, bigyan naman natin ng pagkakataon si candidate number four na magpa-thank you sa kanyang supporters. Grabe makasigaw. Makeup artist mo ba yun? Ayun o. Oh. Um, thank you so much po sa mga nag-support sa akin, lalo na sa aking pinakamagandang hunter, si Mamudan, yung mga hairstylist, and yung family, friends, schoolmates, and mga loved ones ko po. Thank you so much po. Alam mo, candidate number four, andito ka na sa point na ito ng competition. I just want to know, how long did it take for you guys to get to this point of Binibining Santolan? Gaano katagal yung preparation? Um, 
it takes months po in terms of um, sa mga costumes, pero nung sinabihan na agad ako na I have an opportunity to join this prestigious pageant, pumaga, 100% ready na po ako to Ayun. present myself po. Oo, oh, oh, ganun dapat. Dapat ready ka talaga, oh, face diba? first. In any struggle, in any challenge, we gotta face it head on. Okay, I think we are ready to ask our candidates their one common question. Taga sa ang barangay ka ba, candidate number four? Taga sa Tolan po ako and I am representing Doroteo Street. Yon, Doroteo. Barangay sa Tolan and representing Doroteo. Yes. Nasaan ba yung mga taga Doroteo dito? Andun po sila sa bandang likod. Ay, medyo malakas yung sigaw dito. Andito pala sila lahat. So, ang Santolan, malaki talaga siyang parte ng Pasig. So, itong Santolan, malaking barangay talaga ito. I believe so. Hello, barangay captain, Edgy Ramos. Oo nga, si barangay captain, Edgy. Hello, magandang gabi po. Hi, sir. Boss, ang dami, ang ganda-ganda ng Santolan. Talagang encompassing, beautiful faces, beautiful people, vibes, everything. Pag nasa Pasig ka, pag nasa Santolan, talagang alam mo na you are in good hands. So, with this... I think we're ready for the question. That's right. Are you are we ready? Yes, I'm ready. For so we will see the question right on the screen. If given a chance to have a power like Superwoman in a day, how would you change our country? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. If I had given a chance to have a superpower to change our country, the Philippines, and that is intelligence. I want our country to be free from deception of all egotistical individuals who tempted to dominate, especially those who are in marginalized. In order to experience the progress in our community, we should remove the boundaries behind diversity as acknowledging the capabilities, capacities, and potentials of the common people, then there is a great gateway to achieve the development that we dream of. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, candidate Marami number four. Finalist number four, congratulations. Beautiful, beautiful answer. Grabe ang Barangay Santola, no? Grabe talaga ang support. Ang saya pakinggan ng suporta. Parang nag-aulit ang palakpakan dyan. Ayun, ganun dapat. Okay, so we have four more finalists yes. are, who are going to be out here answering their question or the same question. And we would, again, appreciate if you guys could give them the time to finish answering their question. And then after nun, doon tayo magwala. Doon tayo magpalakpakan. Yun naman ang gusto ko sa Barangay Santola. Talaga nakikipag-cooperate sila. Talaga ang tahimik nakikinig talaga sa sagot ng Correct. candidate natin. Eto na, pakinggan din natin ang sagot ng ating susunod na kandidata. We have Binibini number 12, Jekina Hansindo. Number 5. Number 5. Binibini yes, number 5. Yes, mamaya pa natin tatawagin si Kathleen Ausejo. Kathleen, top 5. Inexpect mo ba? na makakarating ka sa punto ng ito ng competition? I actually tried my very best and I am proud of myself so I claimed it, I manifested Yon. it so of course, I expect it. Siyempre, proud na proud din kami sa'yo, Kathleen. Kaya good luck! Ano bang nire-represent mo? Pasig Royal Mansion. Mm. Pasig Royal Pasig Mansion. Royal Mansion. Oh, ang social pa kayo ganun. <laughs> Alright, Kathleen, your question will come from the screen and uh, once you're done reading, we're gonna read it for you. Question goes like this. If given a chance to have a power like Superwoman in a day, how would you change our country? If I would be given the chance to have a superpower like Superwoman, I would use this to control everybody's mind. And of course, plant a seed of gratitude. Because if everyone is grateful, no matter how big or small one has, they will always be enough and they will always be grateful. And this seed will grow and erase everybody's hatred in their minds. In that way, we can all live in a country where only positivity will bind all of us. Thank you. Beautiful answer. Thank you very much, candidate number five. Maraming maraming salamat. Pwede ka muna magpahinga and we will see more of you in a minute. 
Next, may we call on gathering number 11. Dapat pala itong grupo na to, kayo yung dinala ko ng Binibini. <laughs> correct, correct. Diba? Ang lakas yan kung nasa Araneta. Grabe, ano, grabe. makasigaw. Alam mo, nakakatawa. As the candidates were answering their question, naririnig ko yung music doon. Kaya gusto kong malaman, ano kaya yung tinutugtog, no? Talukin Malalaman natin. natin kay Binibini 11. Binibini 11, you are beautiful. Congratulations for making it this far in the competition. Isa lang gusto kong malaman. Ano yung pinapatugtog sa loob? TikTok sounds. <laughs> TikTok music. <laughs> Kumusta ka naman? You're, you're at this point in the competition. Naganto na lang kalapit. Corona na. Ano yes. nararamdaman mo? I'm actually very nervous. Ay, normal. Very, ner yeah. very normal. And sobrang lamig po sa venue. Talaga nakakadagdag <laughs> sa kaba. Actually, malamig <laughs> talaga dito kasi sa atin nakatutok yung air. <laughs> correct, correct. Si Emma rin kanina lang nanginginig na sa likod. <laughs> kasi naman eh. <laughs> kasi naman mamamalik. Thank you so much, Basha Sabihana, for my gown. Ayan. Okay. Ito na, Binibini 11. Your question will be coming from the screen and then we will be reading it for you after you're done reading it yourself, okay? The question is, if you're given a chance to have a power like Superwoman in a day, how would you change our country? If you're given a chance to have a superpower like Superwoman in a day, how would you change our country? The superpower that I will choose is touching other people's heart. Because I think by that, by doing that, that the, the power that I use in other people, that other people will be an instrument in amplifying other people's voices. Because I think what this country needs for it to progress is to set aside each and everyone's differences, celebrate each and everyone's differences, and promote unity in the midst of diversity. Thank you. All right, thank you very thank much, you very Bini Bini 11. Makakapahinga ka na? I love this crowd. I love this part of the crowd talaga. Iuwi ko na kayo mamaya. I super love the crowd on our right side. Parang Next. kahit ano sabihin mo, no, mag-cheer sila. Yun nga, eh. Tsaka <laughs> lahat ng kandirin talaga chini-cheer nila. Correct, correct. Walang pinipili. Salamat, guys. We're Thank gonna bring out the next finalist. We have Binibini 12, Jikena Hansinto. You are absolutely gorgeous. Gusto ko lang sana i-clarify, I, I would apologize if I have been murdering your name. Yeah. Is it Jekina? Jekina? It's Jekina. Jekina. So tama naman pala. <laughs> Jekina, you have a beautiful name. Thank Nandito you. ka na. Top five. Congratulations. Yes, I can't believe it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm here. You're here and deserve mo na nandito ka. One step yes. closer to the crown. We have one common question we're going to be asking you. Good luck. If given a chance to have powers like Superwoman for a day, how would you use this to change our country? I believe that if I were given a chance to be a Superwoman who can do absolutely like anything, I would change the world by helping the the poor communities, the marginalized people, because I believe that they are the ones who needs the most help. And in that way, I think that if the people or the one that, that suffers the most in this world could have a smile on their faces, then I think that that would be a better world to live in for us. Thank you. All right, beautiful Thank answer. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kadrit number 12. Down to our last candidate. Isa na lang. Ito na. Isa na lang malalaman na natin Woo. sino ba ang magiging binibini sa Tola 2022. That is right. Ito na, tawagin na natin siya. Ako nakaka-excite malaman talaga right after this event. 
lalapitan natin siya kasi sa kanya mapupunta lahat ng mga ano, sponsors. Yun yung nga, nakita ko, ang dami niyang matatanggap. Ang dami, oo, oh, oh, correct. Ang dami matatanggap. Totropahin. Totropahin. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's call in Binibini number 17 and Jessica Sikasho. Angelica, congrats, congrats, top five. You know, I remember what you said. You said you took a chance, despite not having any prior experience with pageants. You took a chance and you joined this pageant because you're feeling mo kaya mo. Is this really your first pageant experience ever? Yes, po. This is my very first time. Wow. Ano feeling na ngayon top five ka na? Correct. I'm very overwhelmed and I'm surprised of what I can do. Deserve mo yan. Congratulations. Congratulations. And I think you're ready for ready, this ready question. Ready, ready. Binibini 17, your question is on the screen. All right. Now, your question goes like this. If given a chance to have powers like Superwoman for a day, how would you use this to change our country? Um, good, even, good evening, everyone. If I would be given a chance to be a Superwoman, one day, um, I will fight those bad people who keeps on stomping every Filipinos out there. Makita po natin to, especially sa ating gobyerno. Dahil we should vote wisely. That, dahil ang ating gobyerno, sila ang nagpapalahad ng ating uh, bansa at dapat maganda ang pamamalakad nito dapat they are very um pro poor not pro rich that's all thank you beautiful thank you answer very much candidate number 17 ang ganda ang, ang dami ko natututunan maraming maraming salamat yes. binibini number 17 kung ikaw ba kung super ako. power pero hindi super woman ha super power Ay. Siguro, if I were to be given a superpower, it would be flight. Not nothing encompassing the uh, the helping of the poor. Gusto ko lang lumipad. Uh, <laughs> lang lipad. Ako naman teleport para teleport para naman. gusto ko pumunta sa ibang bansa na hindi na ako gagastos. Exactly. Diba? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Naku, sana may ma mapulot tayong mga bato tapos may superpowers. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the nerve-wracking Q&A for our top 5 big round of applause please for our 5 finalists. One step closer to the crown, Emma. Kinakabahan and, na ko. Kinakabahan na rin ako. Yeah. And I think, habang nagdidesisyon ng ating mga judges, it's our time to thank our sponsors. That is right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's watch this.
pag mahapdi sa balat, pwedeng irritation yan. Try Silka Green Papaya. Dahil ang tunay na sign ng pagpapaputi, kita in as early as seven days. Good role model ka. Sign na yan. Silka Green Papaya. Growing up in Palawan, we lived in a simple home and with no fancy places to go to. Yet, I loved it! Surrounded by its natural beauty, preparing for the Miss Grand International 2020, it was my inspiration. I believe to be truly beautiful is to be truly natural. My face, my body, all healthy, soft, and smooth. Thanks to my healthy skin soap, Miss Tiza, made with fruits and vegetable extracts plus virgin coconut oil, makes me a natural winner. If I can, you can too! With Miss Tiza.
balat? Pwedeng irritation yan. Try Silka Green Papaya. Dahil ang tunay na sign ng pagpapaputi, kita in as early as seven days. Good role model ka. Sign na yan. Silka Green Papaya. Growing up in Palawan, we lived in a simple home and with no fancy places to go to. Yet, I loved it! Surrounded by its natural beauty, preparing for the Miss Grand International 2020, it was my inspiration. I believe to be truly beautiful is to be truly natural. My face, my body, all healthy, soft, and smooth. Thanks to my healthy skin soap, Miss Tiza, made with fruits and vegetable extracts plus virgin coconut oil, makes me a natural winner. If I can, you can too, with Miss Tiza. Pagmahapdi sa balat, pwedeng irritation yan. Try Silka Green Papaya. Dahil ang tunay na sign ng pagpapaputi, kita in as early as 7 days. Good role model ka. Sign na yan. Silka Green Papaya. Growing up in Palawan, we lived in a simple home and with no fancy places to go to. Yet, I loved it! Surrounded by its natural beauty, preparing for the Miss Grand International 2020, it was my inspiration. I believe to be truly beautiful is to be truly natural. My face, my body, all healthy, soft, and smooth. Thanks to my healthy skin soap, Miss Tiza, made with fruits and vegetable extracts plus virgin coconut oil, makes me a natural winner. If I can, you can too, with Miss Tiza. And to grace a glimpse of their final walk, let's call on the reigning queens, starting with Diwata ng Santolan 2015, Nikki Diaz. A Santoleno must look beyond gender inequality because at the end of the day, a woman's greatest competitor is herself. This ending speech highlights my first ever pageant experience. And the journey became simpler as a result of my family, friends, and team support. I want to convey my thanks to Mr. Echi Ramos, the Barangay Council, Queen MC, and the pageant staff. For their constant support and late-night rehearsals, I would like to thank Mama Seth, Mama Shon, and Norben. For giving me encouragement during the road, I thank my friends and family. I wish the Bini Binis all the best and hope to cherish the friendships and memories you have made. You were already winners, for you had conquered your greatest competitor today, yourselves. I am Sarah Rehina Bitoy, your Diwata ng Santolan 2015. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Diwata ng Santolan 2015, Sarah Bitoy.
It was December of 2015, at the age of 17, when I was crowned to be as the Lacambini ng Santola 2015 in our barangay. From that night on, one of my dreams came true. It was surreal and filled with happiness. This pageant strengthened my confidence and self-esteem. As time went by, I came to realize that it is not easy as it seems, because it is not about becoming popular. Instead, it is about proving them the true deserve it and as daunting as it was to be looked up as a role model. This whole experience honed me to become the better version of myself. I want to thank all the wonderful people behind this glorious success. Thank you to my friends who rooted and cheered for me since day one. Knowing that you cried your hearts out while shouting for me and waving those bonnets with my name served as my inspiration and motivation. To my ever kind, supportive, and super humble, very godmother, Alan Wadis, never failed to make me even more beautiful. Thank you for being above and beyond always. To our director, Queen MC, and assistant director, Riri Wu, thank you so much for taking care of us all throughout our journey. Thank you for the advices and life lessons that you taught us. It means a lot to us, especially to our lives. To my family and relatives, grateful for you all who have been with me all throughout this journey. Your physical and emotional support means a lot to me. Thank you so much. To our Barangay Captain, Eche Ramos and Council, thank you for making this pageant happen. I am honored that I have been part of this pageant. Thank you for making my dreams come true. To all the candidates, keep on fighting for your dreams. This is not the end. The world has so much in store for you. Keep shining. And to my successor, this is just the beginning of your journey. Always believe in everything that you do, most especially to yourself. Remember to always stay humble and kind. It will lead you to success. Again, to all my supporters, thank you so much. I am and forever be your Lacambini ng Santola 2015, Nicole Diaz. Once again, Lacambini ng Santola 2015, Nikki Diaz. ago, I joined something that is definitely out of my comfort zone. It all started with a high school pageant and eventually led me in joining Bini Bini Santolan 2015. And it will always be a magical moment for me. I would like to extend my gratitude towards my mentor, my fairy godmother, Mama Seth, who have seen the beauty and potential in me. To my ever supportive friends, from Team K, to Bebangs, and to my Bayanihan and SK family, thank you. And also to my family, especially to my mama and papa, thank you for always rooting for me. And to my constant, thank you for being there. A huge thanks also for the support of our Barangay Council, headed by Chairman Echi Ramos. Especially when I joined the Mutya ng Pasig 2017. It was a very good and memorable experience as I finished the pageant as a top 10 finalist. It will always be my honor to wear that sash and crown representing our dear barangay to the whole city of Pasig. 
to my successor. I know that this is going to be a tough journey at first, but I know that you will be able to handle it and that you're going to be amazing. Just enjoy every moment of it and stay humble. Muli, ako po si Nene May Victorino Dalagan, ang inyong Binibining Santolan 2015. Binibining Santolan 2015, Nenya May Dalagan. candidates on the stage and we have also witnessed the 2015 Queens grabe since 2015 ngayon lang ulit tayo makakakuha ng panibagong binibining Santolan at deserve na deserve ng Santolan ang gantong klaseng celebration. imagine for 7 years after 7 years we will have another binibining Santolan that's yeah. right Nako. so syempre we have gone through so much together and with this Gusto rin namin makarinig ng mga a few words this time from the Honorable Barangay Captain Bricio V. Ramos. So, good evening, everyone. Congratulations. Ngaganda nyo. To all sponsors, uh, andyan yung 
taga Santa Lucia, headed by Mr. X. Robles, Resti Santos, Dodi Santos, ang aming kaibigan, si Bal, aking kaibigan, yung best friend ni Bong Navarro, si Cedric Lee, <laughs> si Architect Azinas, ang ating mga city prosecutors, ang aking mga kagawad, si Dave, kagawad Dino, kagawad Inga, kagawad Charlie, kagawad Winnie, sino pa? Kagawad Kiko, kagawad Dave, ating sekretary si Ms. Ann Castro, ang ating treasurer si Sally, at lahat po sa inyo, all audience, dito sa Barangay ng Santolan, at lalo-lalo na dito sa ating mga binibini since day one, they exerted effort up to now. And be on stage, it's a difficult moment for them. Dahil yung kaba na nararamdaman ng bawat isa na who will be crowned as a winner, as the queen ng Binibining Santolan ay napakahirap na iniisip mo, pag-uwi mo, nag-rehearse ka, nag-iisip ka kung dumating yung oras na dumating yung Q&A, uh, how would you able to deliver such a, good, such a good answer for a hard question? Napakahirap na itong pinagdadaanan nila. Gusto ko po sanang pasalamat ng lahat ang sumuporta dito sa pagkakataon to. Uh, without your support this, this, this day, Tonight is nothing. Dahil wala po, kung wala po kayo, kayo po ang naging dahilan kung bakit naging successful. Sa inyong lahat, binabati ko po kayong lahat. Doon sa lahat ng mga handlers, sa lahat ng handlers ng ating mga candidates, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Sa lahat po ng mamamaya ng barangay ng Santolan mula doon sa dulo. Maraming maraming salamat po. I would like to, to thank you. Every, every, every Santoleño sa suporta na pinagkalob nila. Nakalimutan ko si Kagawad Sandro, si Queen, si Jeff, yung ating head ng tabulators, si Cedric, and of course, all the judges. Kayo po ang susi. You are the key for the success of this pageant. Yung, yung honest opinion, kung paano pipili ng isang matalino at maganda na winner, kayo po yun. Kaya, I send you to maraming maraming salamat. Kay Riri, sa inyo po lahat, maraming maraming salamat po at mabuhay po ang Binibining Santolan, mabuhay po ang lahat-lahat po ng mamamayan ng Barangay ng Santolan at hindi lamang po ito ang proyekto natin gagawin at marami pa po. At sana, dito sa darating na Pakalog Festival natin on the 31st sa pagsalubong ng bagong taon ay magsama-sama tayo. Andiyan po ang celebration natin. We have more than 50 litsyon baboy all, all, all over the state. Yan po ay yearly na ginagawa po natin. Kaya lang it's so happy na nagkaroon ng pandemya kaya hindi po natin nagawa. Muli po, maraming maraming salamat po at salute. Ma'am, si Sir... John and si Miss Emma po. Miss Emma. Emma Tiglao. Tiglao. You're one of the Bini Bini. Yes po. Okay, maraming salamat po. Maraming maraming salamat po at mabuhay po kayong lahat. All right, thank you very thank much. You. Barangay Captain Bricio V. Ramos. Parang ang sarap sumali dun sa 50 lechon. At ako nga hindi na ako sasali, maghihingi na lang po. May dala na po akong container dito. Baka po Nako. pwede na po ako makahingi. Baka pwede tayong ampunin ng Santola no, for that festival. Nakaka-excite naman yung Pakulog Festival. Ano? Pakulog Festival? Pakalog. Pakalog Festival. Pakalog. Kalog. Sounds like pakabog. Paka hindi magpapakabog hindi ang Santola. Ito na, syempre hindi na magpapakabog ang mga kandidata na naglalaban-laban. Ladies and gentlemen, we finally have the results in our hands of who will be crowned for tonight's competition. I have the envelope for the second runner-up. The second runner-up will be awarded by or presented by Mr. Zaldi Santos, Ms. Apple de Leon, and Mr. Dodi Santos.
All right, now our second runner-up will receive the following sets of prizes. 10,000 pesos in cash. Silka Products bags from How Are You Bags by Lara Uy. Gift certificates from Fashion Watchers and cash from Mayumi Skin by M. Arcane. And our second runner-up for tonight is Bini Bini number. Parang wala nang sumisigaw. Kabado lahat ah. Bini Bini number. Number four, Ayla Melanio. All right, there she is. Congratulations to our second runner-up. Here we go. Again, congrats, congrats. Nako, palapit na tayo ng palapit into crowning our top spot for Binibini Santolan 2022. Moving on out, we are going to be calling on our first runner-up, who will be awarded by Julius Pegado, Mr. George Delumen, and Mr. Resti Santos. And our first runner-up will be receiving 20,000 pesos in cash, Silco products, Bags from How Are You Bags by Lara Uy. Gift certificate from Fashion Watchers and cash from Mayumi Skin by MRK. Here we go. Our first runner-up. Bini Bini Santola 2022 first runner-up is... Congratulations, Bini Bini number... 17, Angelica Biscasso. Second runner up, first runner up, Tiwata Lakabini and Bini Bini will be receiving Silka products, Mayumi, Sassy Chris products, and the Sand of Queen by Sands by JRB. That's right, ang dami dami na mauuwi ng ating mga kandidata na mananalo tonight. Aside from the cash prizes, our very, very generous sponsors have given them also gift packs coming from their own companies and brands. runner-up and our first runner-up next we have the Diwata of Santolan. Santolan 2022 now Diwata ng Santolan 2022 will receive the following prizes 30,000 pesos in cash Silka products bags from how are you bags by Lara Uy gift certificate from fashion watchers gift packs from forever beauty skin essential one-year membership from kickstart fitness center and free services from reflection salon and cash from Mayumi Skin by MRK. And to be presented by Mr. Hill Perez, Lee Van Castro, and architect Noli De Leon. Our Diwata ng Santola 2022 is now other than candidate number. Number. Number 11, Yvette Belmundo. Ayana Shah, congratulations to our Lakambini or uh, Diwata. Diwata ng Santolan 2022. Well deserved, Elma. At this point, dalawa na lang ang kandidata na naglalaban-laban para sa titulo ng Binibini at Lakambini ng Santolan 2022. The next name we will be calling will be the name of our Lakambini ng Santolan 2022. And she will be receiving the following prizes. Fifty thousand pesos in cash. Silka products. Bags from How Are You Bags by Lara Uy. Gift certificates from Fashion Watchers. Gift packs from Forever Beauty Skin Essential. One-year membership from Kickstart Fitness Center. Free services from Reflection Salon and cash from Mayumi Skin by MRK. Alam mo na kung sino ang kakaibiganin mo. Ang dami niyang makukuha. 
Grabe ang generous naman talaga ng sponsors natin. Aside from the cash prizes, ang daming pag-giveaway ng sponsors yes. as well. Sana po huwag niyong kalimutan, dalawa po yung host niya for tonight. Yes po, at tumatanggap din po kami ng gift packs. Baka sakali may extra po dyan. At saka po doon sa 50 Lechon, baka pwedeng 48 na lang. Tig-isa po kami. Tig-isa, <laughs> oo, 48. Malaki, marami-rami na yun ha. Grabe, mar marami Gagawin nila papain. yan on the 31st of this month, tama ba? For Pakalog Festival yes. on the Baw 31st. Bawat street merong lechon. Grabe. So kaninong street kaya tayo makikikain <laughs> ng lechon? Ang sarap naman maging Santo Leño, no? Pag diba? 31, grabe. Ito ang tanong sa inyong lahat. Sino sa tingin nyo ang ating magiging binibini ng Santo na 2022? Ayan na mga kaibigan, dalawa na lang sa ating mga kandidata na titira. Again, we are gonna be calling on up next ang ating Lakambini ng Santolan 2022. So kapag tinawag natin si Lakambini ng Santolan, it means automatic ang may iwan na kandidata ay siyang magiging binibini ng Santolan 2022. So again, ano nga ba ang magiging prize ni Lakambini at ni binibini ng Santolan, Sean? All right, for Lakambini ng Santolan, there will be 50,000 pesos in cash in store for the winner. Silka Products bags from How Are You Bags by Lara Oi. Gift certificates from Fashion Watchers. Gift packs from Forever Beauty Skin Essential. One-year membership from Kickstart Fitness Center. Free services from Reflection Salon. And cash from Mayumi Skin by MRK. Ang ating Binibini ng Santolan naman ay makakatanggap ng... Makakatanggap ng... 100,000 pesos in cash. Silka products. Bags from How Are You Bags by Lara Uy. Gift certificate from Fashion Watchers. And a lot more. And I think we are ready to announce the Lakambini ng Santola 2022 to be awarded by Mr. Leo Almodal, Architect Eric Asinas, and Mr. Cedric Lee. Woo! We are finally at this point of the competition. Ladies and gentlemen, ang ating Lakambini ng Santolan 2022. Our Lakambini ng Santolan 2022 is... Binibini number... Binibini number... 12, Jaquina Jacinto! To be awarded by Miss Lauren May Bautista, Mr. TJ Marquez, together with Barangay Captain Echi Ramos. Ang ating Binibini Santolan 2015 will also be joining the awarding Miss Nenya Dalagan. Once again, congratulations to our Lakambini ng Santolan Binibini number 12, Jekina Jacinto. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, meron na tayong kokoronahan bilang Binibini Santolan 2022! Santolenos, once again, palakpakang muli para sa ating pinakabagong Binibining Santolan 2022, Kathleen Alcejo!
Congratulations to all the winners. It has been a great show and we would like to express our gratitude to all the candidates, organizers, panel of judges, and this great audience. Indeed, it would not be a success without everybody's help and support. Lahat ng nandito, maraming maraming salamat. And of course, ladies, you're all beautiful. To all the winners, congratulations. Deserve it, deserve it. Congrats, ladies. This has been Sean Gal Ortega. And I would like to take this opportunity to invite you all to please watch Kada Ubaga at 1025. Monday to Friday, Puyan, 6 to 8 a.m. at Matana Aguila at 1025, also 6 to 7, 30 p.m. Again, I am El Matik Lau, your Binibini Filipinas Intercontinental 2019. And we hope to see you on Bini Bini Santalan 2023! Thank you for my gowns, Basha Sopiano, and for my makeup, Oliver. Maraming maraming salamat. Kita'y panaginip ko Panaginip ng katang dakilaan ito Pag-iisip ko Ang katulad mo raw ay birhen Sa harap ng altar ng purong pag-ibig O kay ganda, o kay gandang mag-alay Okay, ganda, okay, gandang magalay sa iyo. Ala, ala, ang isip at pagod sa iyo ay binigay ko na. Bini, bini, ang aking dalangit pasan, dininig mo raw. Wika mo raw, iingatan ko. Magpakailan man ang purong pag-ibig O kay ganda, o kay gandang mag-alay sa'yo O kay ganda, o kay gandang mag-alay sa'yo O kay ganda, o kay gandang mag-alay sa'yo Sagot mo para nang sinadya Pagsapit ng magandang umaga Ako'y bumalikwas din